Well, time to get the show on the road. Motherfucker. Well, time to go talk to a robot. Tried skipping over all of the uh, DLC notifications, but uh, might get another one. Oh, come on. Stay still. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? And you look as sturdy as a Stradivarius. Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you happen to find me, Victor? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I sure do remember you dragging me all the way. Do you know who those men were that attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How did you open Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Oh, yeehaw. I've never seen a robot quite like you. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Oh, I sure won't. Goodbye, Victor. Happy trails! Oh, you know it. Oh, easy pee with you, with you, and your... 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 this... <laughs> come on. There you go, little buddy. Oh, come on. Thankfully, I didn't shoot anybody. How you doing, buddy? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Well, how about telling me anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Why do they call you Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Well, you were a prospector. Like, digging for gold and silver. I know you talk, you talk about chems and stuff, but let's hear that. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Oh, I can't wait to go poking around radioactive ruins just for some some measly 5.56 five, ammo. Did you ever find uh, anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Oh, you're never too old to rest your life. What's wrong with the NCR? You don't, you don't like taxes? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. You know what they say, uh, in, in the NCR a day keeps the Legion away. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, 
but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. One day, somebody's going to be ending up tossing Caesar's salad. For good. Well, what's so important about the, the big old dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Big old dam. What do you use the big horners for? Big old... Cuddly big... Fucking horned boys. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. You know anything about, uh, the, the cowboy robot Victor? The machine? <laughs> Harmless. The no machine. matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. That's some good reflection you got there. Or I think it's reflection. Anyway, goodbye, old Pete. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Oh boy, I can't wait to go and fight some g teachers. Better go talk to Sunny Smiles. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you uh, could teach me uh, to survive in the desert. Uh, is that uh, true, Mrs. Uh, Smiles? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Oh, Meet yeah. me outside, behind the saloon. I'm, uh, I'm barely half the man I used to be. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just, I'm just, uh, just, uh, oh, what do I have over here? My bionic eye, I should get that fixed up. But here's some, uh, I have a mod that adds a bunch of poetry to the game, and as you know, I'm, uh, I'm a fan of poetry. Actually, let's see if there's any, there is. Uh, double, double trouble. Let's, let's read this one first. Let's let's get, let's get in the right spot for it. Come on, come on. There we go. While I wait for the perfect woman to come along, I'm having a lot of fun with the imperfect ones. Oh, aren't we all? It's all about finding who you're happy with. Oh, you got anything in here? Oh. Oh. Well, got some Braxo. Actually, yeah, I'll take some of that over. So, actually, nobody's in here right now, right? I don't... Is that one guy? It's the one guy. You can't stop me. Make a mess. Uh, this is mine. Actually. Howdy. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Oh, yes. My face is in one, one piece. No, I mean in a closed space. I can't. I can't do that right now. Let me just. There we go. Huh? Now hiring. Oh, Randall and associate. Oh yeah, bounty hunting. Randall and Associates is accepting applications for the following positions. Bounty Hunter. Job Description. Pursue high-risk bounties on behalf of various clients, utilizing any and all means to apprehend and or terminate contracted targets. Job Requirements. Should have experience with firearms, explosives, or energy weapons. Must be organized and self-efficient. Interpersonal ability is helpful, but not necessary. Unarmed or melee skills is a plus. Moral flexibility preferred. Pay slash benefits. Work at your own pace, on your own schedule. The initial contract is 125 caps. 
proven effectiveness will lead to more lucrative payments. Potential re rewards include a custom revolver and duster? Oh, those... That's even better than dental! To apply, see Stephen Randall at the offices of Randall and Associates. Disclaimer. Randall Associates is not re responsible for injuries and or death incurred while pursuing said contracts. Randall Associates is an equal opportunity employer. You hear that? They hire anybody to go out and just shoot people right, right, right there, right, right there. And that anybody includes me. Let's see. Well, time to go and get some shooting brick. Anything else in here? There's stuff in here, though. Oh, I'm sorry, Cherry. I just... I, I need these. He's not hostile yet, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna save. So that he doesn't... Sit in ca just in case, you know. Just in case. I can do this. Actually, wait. First, I'll see if I can... Because that's hard. Get some of that. Oh. I'll take the whiskey and the scotch. Purified water. Yeah. Takes more sense. Since it says Varela. Let's do this, though. Ravages! There we go! Disengage lock. Fuck, I've stepped back that, that, that. I'll take that. Plasma pistol, anti venom, jet psycho, some of that. I do. <gasps> yeah. Nice. I use this instead of the, you know. Pardon me, oh. sir. Interested in the finest entertainment available for the discriminating gentleman? Perhaps even an employment opportunity? <gasps> employment? Tell me more. Just go to Lollipop Saloon. It's on Route 160. Folks around here call it Blue Diamond Road. Food and drink, entertainment, and companionship. All in an exclusive yet relaxed atmosphere. Oh, that sounds lovely. I can see your pores. You're trying very hard, though. What's the catch? <sighs> I'll level with you. The place isn't what it used to be. They could use more pros, more publicity, and most of all, more customers. That was my last flyer. I've done all I can for them. I'm through. But you look like you could help with all of the above. See for yourself if you get the chance. Will do. But also, nice neck seam. Those necklaces are supposed to cover up the neck seams, but, uh, I assume it's a mod confliction? Because I think he has a body type from the mod that he's from. And I think those necklaces only account for vanilla or mods that have patches for it. But anyway, they are nice necklaces. Okay, I'm going to go check it out sometime. Uh, goodbye, Simpsons, man. Thanks for your time. Enjoy yourself. Oh, I will. Are you? Oh, okay. I thought you were getting me stuck there. And that is a mod we'll get to soon enough. <gasps> <gasps> Gotta bring us back to <sighs> Pete. Don't you? Don't you go anywhere? Full. Oh. What size do you want to be? What size? I'm taller than you. I just noticed. You're kind of small. What's up? Can I be bigger? Let me see you for sale. Can you make me big? Step into my office. Oh. I'll take some of those. I'll take some of your... Your... Some... Your, some, your night vision weed? I'll take so oh man, I gotta sell you something. I'll sell you this uh, machine gun. I'll take some medex, some jet. Ooh, mentats. Oof. I'll, s 
I'll sell you that. I'll sell you that. I'll sell you that. Uh, no. What can I sell? I don't really want... Oh. Hmm. I'll sell you one of those. Hmm. I don't think Scotch has used it much. I can sell you a stem pack. Oof. Hmm. This could be using a bind. Psycho's uncommon. Get some Medex. Well, I'm a broke bitch now. Yeah, he. Enjoy. Goodbye. Better living through chemistry. Yeah, uh, that's right. I didn't mean to rush through you. That's to. <laughs> that's just uh, muscle memory. How do you do? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yeah, I'm not going to use this. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh. 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 That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying... Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Nope. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? I'll help you out. Follow me. See, her this necklace down works. down to the southeast of short ways. I gotta quickly mess around one setting, though. Some... Ah, just mods. Crosshair. Hit marker. Crosshair. First person mode. Setting mode dot nothing. Skill mode nothing. Think that's yeah, that fixes it. Can I fix this with a varmint rifle? I can't. This though does a little bit more damage. Am I just I don't know why, but it seems like I'm just bigger than everybody else. I don't have a player race that's different. I think by default the character is bigger. Except for Arcade Ganon, he is kind of big. But since we're out here now, I can do this slowly. You will show me self. Come on. You got a mod that makes it so that, uh, you know, I'm not so slow. I was going to use a running mod. That's, uh, but I turned that off because I don't, it, you know, the camera gets a little bit shaky and, you know, I, I remember the mod that I thought caused all these FPS issues, but I don't know. I just don't know. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Oh, yeah, you got do. some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Little Seems like buggers. Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Oh, Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Mm. Oh, that's... That's just saying crits. Like sneak crits. That's cool. I never okay. considered that. On. Go give them hell. Give them hell, alright. Where are they at? Come on. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Those two are down. Alright. Oh, come on. Did you not run for it at all? See? You're getting the hang of it. A little bit. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Especially with two of us. Come with me. You know, to make it more fair, you know what? No. Yes. All right, homeboys.
trying to save this lady. Oh shit, is she getting her shit fucked in? Help! Help! I already helped you. Hey, come on, talk to me. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you've done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Oh, I am. But not that kind of thirst. I'm thirsty for justice. Alright, gecko meat. Gecko, 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 gecko. Oh, 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 yeah. You, you aiming down sights there? You aiming down sights there? Howdy. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Oh, yeah. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. <laughs> Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. It's time to cook, Jesse. Time to go and uh, get myself uh, some Brock flowers and some Xander root. Oh, they're all bent. All bent out of shape. I'm trying to remember, is the shovel at the graveyard or is it at the around here? I could probably buy a shovel actually. Cause I'm gonna go grave robbing. Time to go fight some teachers. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Oh, goodbye. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 There you are. You know what? I'll make it even more fair. <laughs> I'll fight you with binoculars. I'll fight you with throwing spears to throw to show off another mod I got. Oh, are you dead? Come on. Oh, I'm not good with these. There we go. Smashing the bits, didn't I? Stuck spear. There's another spear. There's an oh. There's another spear. Some spear. Another spear. Should be two more spears. Oh no. One plus. And, okay, there we go. I'll come for you later. Actually, no, I'll do you now. I'll use the machete, though. Time to get a, a higher education. Alright, there you are. Yeah. Oh. I believe the bullet time also boosts melee damage a bit. We don't really need it for these guys. Why am I still kinda... Oh no. Kill cam. There we go, we fixed it. Cherry bomb. Open that up, get a mantis egg. I also believe that if you... Is it if you jump on it or if you shoot it? If you... You know what? Let's try it. Ooh. Oh, they're gross. Gross baby noises. I hate bugs. But I 
love eating them. Yummy. Oh. Oh, I got hurt by wood again. Won't be the first time. Uh... Oh! <laughs> that was messy. I missed a leg somewhere. Ooh. You're so juicy. Alright. Uh, well, useful in your hands, with this highly educational and particularly rare book, every decent doctor should be able to learn the art of cybernetic surgery. Oh, Doc Mitchell! Foot locker, programmer's digest, bobby pins. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's vibrating. But you know, I wanna, I wanna do this. You see, what? Oh, oh. I think that bypasses it. With a stealth boy, I could get to Vegas early. I might do that. Except taking a long way around. Like a simpleton. Oh, so gross. Uh, Tin can. Make out uh, explosives out of that layer. Box of detergent. Coffee mug. Oh, muggy. I get to see muggy eventually. Alright. I gotta clear this place out before uh, a certain mod kicks in. Oh, I thought I'd wander in 20. Oh, my dyslexia. Should I? Yeah. At least to get him out of here. I'll dump him in Mitchell's or something. Orange Victor Shack. Do I want to go through that gross stuff again? Kinda do. Let's save first. Well. Oh. Okay. These respawned. Might be tied to the to the mod. Yeah, those guys are over there. I'll deal with those guys later. Gotta go and get some of that there. Brock flower. Gotta fight some flies for it. Actually. Is that the only one? Yeah, that's the only one. Eventually, I can make a thing that, you know, stops poison. So, for everybody that doesn't understand how to make ammo in the Fallout, here's how you do it. You go to, the, you go to, the, you, know, you go to this, you, you break down some stuff you don't want, and then I'll break down, I'll break down this many of it. And then, what you can do is, let's see, this is damage times 1.2. This is 20% more damage. This does a little bit more damage, but makes the gun feel not so great about things. It makes it feel bad about its marriage and its life. Uh, but slugs, they make it more accurate. I'm going to make a bunch of that. And I'm just going to break down the rest of this so I can make some, uh, some slightly better stuff. And uh, that's, a, that's about it for now. Uh, I don't... I don't think anything really uses this, but I'll, I'll keep it around just in case. And then you can, you can use this uh, super accurate ammo that turns it into, uh, I, uh, with my mod, it makes it uh, have a that instead of a, a that. Because this has pellets and this uh, is, a, is a slug.
Now this is the science workbench. With this, you can do stuff like, you know, recycle your energy cells. You can make your ammo more powerful, but I don't use energy. I mean, yeah, energy weapons. Uh, some of my mods, I uh, add stuff like that. But I want to see about... What would my eye... <laughs> What would fixing my eyeball be under? I just, yeah. Repair damaged bionic eye. Oh, either of them work. Well, I need a drinking glass and scrap electronics. I can probably do that fairly easily. I gotta keep that in mind, though. I'm, I'm, my mind is, my mind isn't what it used to be. Used, I. <sighs> Used to be a unicorn or something. Ooh, that's from that's a mod pretty soon. Anyway, I'm gonna cut the episode here. Actually, no. Let's go do this first, and then I'll cut the episode. I kind of want to finish the the back in the saddle first before I cut the episode. Oh, fuck. Actually, just wait. I'm gonna see if I can turn tutorial stuff off. Settings, gameplay, tutorial, tutorial. Kill cam mode, difficulty. Display. Controls. Shit. Hey, little buddy. Yeah, I know. Sucks to suck. Ooh, bug somber. This game is going to give me shit about vats the entire time, isn't it? I'll have to get a mod that shuts that stuff off or something. You've discovered several locations. Oh. Oh. There we go. Ah, uh, let's see. Get that to that. Uh, speech to that. Uh, explosives to 25. Repairs, 45. Sneak. Barter to 25, and then I got a couple points left. Might as well put it into guns. Let's see, I could get fruit growing out of my head. At least that the probably reduces criticals. I'm probably gonna be gay. That's that's powerful in this game. The power of although reloading. You know, in this game you gotta make the hard choices. Are you gonna be gay? Or are you gonna you can be straighter? Or you could or you could reload faster. Let's see. Well, wearing light armor, you get. I do like more crits. Oh, fuck, so many good choices. I don't think being gay helps you until you like get down to the to the to the to the major knight. All uh, Liam O'Brien. Uh, so let's. Oh, fuck. I do love crits. Gonna be using a lot of cow, but you know what? Let's go with, with let's go with the. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the crits for now. I don't really need fruit. I do like having fruit show up randomly in my inventory because fruit in this game is kind of rare. But let's go with light touch. And you know, uh, the game doesn't understand that there's still another blowfly over here, but uh, we'll. We'll take care of these guys. We'll take care of them. By we, I mean meat. Oh, they're so gross, though. I don't want to deal with this. There we go. Ugh, so disgusting. Now, I feel like there's a mod that adds something to... Oh, I'll pick this up. Final limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are wildly consi wildly wi widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has that some collectors will pay dearly for them. You know they'll pay more for that than uh, that they'll pay for their uh, big old improvement chips. Gonna make some sliders out of these here uh, dead boat bloat flies, and uh, yeah, yeehaw. Uh, that's my tin, tin can. Could 
have sworn a mod added something. Oh well. Oh, just getting some evidence about how I got fucking murdered. Oh. Oh. I'll be back to, ro to rob these graves soon enough, but, you know. Let's get some of this shit. Is it this crit? No. I'll have to look into what mods I have. I think it was a weapon or something. Oh well. Let's fast travel on back to. Oh fuck. You know, you you know, you go up for some milk. You get some, you, you know, you're going for some milk, and then you grab you grab toast instead. Oh. You grab toast instead, and that's what this is like. You know, coming up here to get some brock flowers, and instead you kill four giant mutated flies, and you pick up some. You, you, you know, you, you visit your you visit your grave, and then you you pick up some evidence, and then you pick up a snow. That's how it is. But yeah, we're gonna fast travel. Okay, that's canyon wreckage. Oh, what time is it? Okay. Oh, I keep going to that one. Um. 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 Come oh. on. Oh, there we go. Rest in peace. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just, Just fine. fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. I don't think I've ever really used healing powder. It's, I don't want the negative perception. Ooh. I forgot. I got those. Yeah, I, I can be more... I can become really addicted to stuff. But also, I can make drugs. I c What's a Nuka-Cola pack? Oh, that's a new thing. Chem pack? Oh, I gotta try that sometime. Anyway, let's make some healing powder so she'll be happy. And then... Hey, that's yep. not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I'll do that later. Goodbye. Hi, Cheyenne. Purge. Uh. 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 There's only so much sin one reverend can take. I'm gonna make some blowfly sliders though. And some gecko steak. I'll make most of uh I'll make gecko steak. And then uh I guess I'll just uh lay my weary head down. Evening. Eventually, and I'll evening to you too. Is there a shovel around here? I just wanna, before I forget, I feel like I'll forget in between episodes to grab a shovel. I'm awful leaving myself notes. Well, I guess this is it for now. I'm gonna call it an episode. But next week, hopefully next week, 
We'll be back for another episode. Bye.